women have been strategizing about how to get with a man, whether it's you or somebody else, since they were kids, because since they were kids, they've been observing their aunts, their moms, they, their cousins. They've had their these people in their lives come to them. And from a young age, think about like, I think about when, like, you know, I've seen friends of mine that have kids and they're playing with the neighborhood girl. What, what are the parents saying? Oh, they look so cute together. Oh, I see wedding bells. And they're three. So women from a young age are getting pushed into, you need to be in our relationship. And then they're getting taught that men are difficult. We, we think we're simple, but our egos can sometimes make dating us very difficult because we can be, we can be hard-headed, we can be stubborn, we cannot want to listen. And so they have women in their lives that are telling them, hey, when you start dating, do these things, do this strategy, say this thing, make this thing for this guy, do all this stuff. So that way, when the right guy comes along, you can bag that guy. And so women are already strategizing. And then you want to sit there and say, oh, but Harry, I don't need a strategy. <laughs> oh, man. Makes me laugh every time. Because the reality is this, is that because women have a strategy, they are already assuming that the guys out there in the world have strategy. And to be fair, the 10% the chads out there and Tyrones that are, are getting all the women these guys may be quote unquote naturals, but even they, they are doing things and or know how to get women because they know the things that women want. It's the remaining 90% that have a stick up their butt about, I got to learn things to get women. I can't just come in this, you know, nasty looking t-shirt and, and not showered and just messy hair and, and get women. How, how dare they should just accept me for me. You can be mad at women all you want about them needing you to have a strategy to get them you're gonna stay single. And so to prove that today, I came across a slew of videos on TikTok of examples of women giving other women the game, giving women strategies they can do to psych psychologically get men, to uh, attract men, to, to boost their egos. And it's important for you to see these things because I need you to get into your head the idea that ultimately both sides need to have strategy to get men. All right, to get each other. Now, I will clarify and say that as I play through these, not all the strategies these women are giving to women are, are the best. Some of them are actually pretty good. And I'm like, I'm glad that this information is getting out. And some of it's like, these women don't know what they're talking about. But the point is to see across the board, whether it's good or bad information, women have been strategizing for years. And then here's the thing, and, I, and I'll put this out, is that we go along with the videos. The way they've strategized, if they've done it for so long, that when they come to you and do certain things, to you, it's not gonna look like a strategy. It's gonna look like this is just how they are. Oh, she's not playing a game. She said this nice thing, but she she just I, she, she said that nice thing because what I did was pretty cool, right? And I'm telling you, this goes so deep. Women that are complimenting you or saying certain things to you or, or making you think about things in a certain way or even how they're approaching you to do or say certain things. Because they've had time to do this, you think it's going to look so effortless that you're not going to read it as it being a strategy. Even like, oh, that Christian girl that would never play games, she just, just generally likes me and wants to pray with me all the time and is always coming up with nice things. To... That is a strategy. And so your goal as a guy is to be able to learn strategies, make them a part of who you naturally are, to where when women are seeing you move about in the world, they're going to say things like, he knows what he's doing. What they're not going to say is, that's probably a strategy of his. Even though they want you to know to have a strategy, they, they're they in their head thinking, I need this to, to be authentic. Please let this guy come across as authentic. And so part of learning game is learning it, practicing it, and then making it a natural part of who you are to where women don't feel like you're being somebody different when you do these things. Because again, they've already been doing that for years. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring up my trusty, dusty TikTok stream here. Here we go. And so we'll start, I, I have these videos in the various orders, so I don't know what the videos are yet. As they come up, we'll get into talking about it and making commentary. So let's get to this first video. Be your rules when you start dating, ladies. Endless texting in the beginning can be very dangerous because it creates a false sense of intimacy. Text so here we got a lady giving tips to women on texting, which is, hey, in the beginning, don't text the guy so much. I tell you guys all the time, you should only be texting to get dates. And so there are women that are also being taught, hey, don't look like that needy girl that's overreaching, like don't text him so much. 
This could very well mean that there's a girl out there that's not trying to overtext you that still likes you. And that's why I tell you guys, the better strategy for you is to ask her out on dates as a read for where her interest is at. If you take her on a date, show her a good time, and then wait four days to text her, you'll know that she's still interested when you text her again and ask for another date, and she says yes. So on both ends, I don't really think that women should be texting all that much either, but they will start to do it a bit more as they like you more. Texting makes you think that you know this person and that you care for this person, but that is not the real world. The real world is when you meet somebody and when you actually go on dates. So make sure to continue your life as you normally do it and keep the texting limited until you really get to know him. Don't and so this is also important for you guys that think, well, we were texting a lot on the dating app and then we went on a date and had a good time, and now the texting slowed down. She's not responding back as much. I don't know what's going on. Well, she may have the strategy of, okay, I had a good time on the date, but I don't wanna be that thirsty girl, so as much as I, as I wanna text them, I don't wanna do it too much. So as you are trying to over text her, you're pondering, why isn't she texting back as much? She could be thinking on her end, I don't want to be too desperate, so I'm going to hold back. And then you're taking that as, oh, she's losing interest. I got to text her more and talk about having a serious conversation with her about her texting and stuff like that. And now you've gone from a woman where she was initially slowing down text to not look to you like she was over eager to you've accidentally made yourself look like you're thirsty and desperate. And now she's like, oh, I was just trying to, to not be so desperate, but he clearly is obsessed with me already. This freaks me out and I'm out. So you don't lose points for not doing so much texting in the beginning, guys. Don't accept any last minute dates. If a man really likes you, he has to show it through his actions. And his actions show up in the form of organizing a nice date. If he texts you late at night and he says, what's up, shall I come by? It's always a no, don't. So you're thinking again, it, it, this is important to know that women have these strategies because then on your end of things, when you're making certain requests or saying certain things and you're not getting the response you want, you can look at it and say, oh, wait, maybe she's being taught not to do these certain things. So in this case, she's saying, hey, ladies, don't accept last minute dates because it, it, it does make it does put the woman on a lower tier as if to say her time's not valuable or that she has nothing else going on, or that she's so desperate she'll say yes at any time. A woman may not be trying to give you that impression, and so she very well may say, oh, thanks for hitting me up last minute, but I can't do it right now, in an attempt to try to set the boundary of, you need to like be uh, cognizant of my time as well. You getting butt hurt by that is only going to result in her realizing that you're obsessed and want to leave. This is why you as a guy should implement into your strategy that you don't ask for last minute dates, nor do you accept last minute dates. That way you're able to, to let her know that her time is valuable, but also that you're not available every day. Like if you're asking a woman constantly, every time you ask her on a date for a last minute date, that gives her the impression that you're a guy that has nothing else going on. Women don't want to date that kind of guy. So if you add to your strategy, you know what? For those first three months, I'm not asking her on any last minute dates, then you will find that you'll probably do a lot better. Sleep with him until you know that you're actually exclusive together. Tell him this, I would love to see where our connection goes. And I would like to not date any other men while I'm getting to know you better. And then you see how he reacts. And one more thing. Now notice what she said, right? She said that women, in terms of like sleeping with you right away, that women need to be able to, to say, hey, just so you know, I really want to get to know you first before we just hop into bed like that. And then she said what? And then see what his reaction is. Now, this is a strategy that women will do because they're trying to look out for their safety early on and seeing if you're going to be willing to respect any kind of boundary she puts up. So if she knows, she knows her strategy is going to be, I'm going to tell a guy, I want to wait for a little bit. Now, Will she always stick to that actual strategy? No, but a lot of times women will verbalize it just to see what your reaction is gonna be. If your reaction is, oh, how could we, but what if I, but please, I wanna, but it's so important to a guy. She knows that you don't really care about what she actually wants or what's gonna be good for her. And she's gonna dip out right away versus having the strategy of saying, hey, you know what, that's cool. In fact, you wanna wait one month? Why don't we wait two months? Hey, you know what? I, I waited a long time before I had my first hookup. I can outweigh you. That's totally fine. Like having the strategy of being indifferent and not being bothered by this 
surprise, surprise, it is a strategy that is actually very effective in making women get out of their head and making women feel like, oh, he's not pressuring me to sleep with him. Okay, great. Now I can make the decision to sleep with him if I want to. And I have found I've gotten that same speech with a woman. Hey, just so you know, I know I know I'm inviting you into my place, but I'm not going to do anything. My response has always been, okay, cool. So can we like watch TV or movie or something? Like, like, and that reaction I find would have would usually end up getting me a hookup by like date three or four because I'm not rushing the process. But understand that is part of my strategy. It's the strategy, surprise, surprise, of be patient and wait. That is not a bad strategy to have as a guy because you will find that it disarms women. And then makes them realize that the thing that they're saying in the moment that they don't want to do right now, they're probably going to be willing to do a couple of dates down the road because you were respecting of their boundary. So the strategy of respecting her boundary and saying, hey, I can wait even longer. Surprise, surprise. That works great. Until you establish this, please date other men because you have to find out what your options are and what the best choice for you is. So she just gave the strategy of, hey, when you're when you're for to women, when you're dating, make sure you're not just dating that one guy, date other guys, explore your options to see what the best for you is. And you have to understand that women had that strategy in part because they're they're trying to make sure they make the right pick because in their past, they probably made the wrong pick. You as a guy need to have that same strategy because you're not you're going to think after one or two dates that this girl is like the bee's knees, as they said in the 50s, and that she's the one for you. But you need to be aware that the assessment you're making by like date one or two could be dramatically different after having spent three months of time with her. So you got to get out of your head that you're making a proper assessment so early on and leave room for, but I could be wrong. Let me explore further before I try to get this woman into a full on commitment, which again, she should be coming to you asking for the commitment, not the other way around. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man.